Hello and welcome to the Trummel Volunteer Fire Company YouTube channel. This is a series of videos that we're going to put together for fire safety information. Today we are going to focus on fires in the kitchen, specifically on the stove. My name is Dave DeLibro. I'm the Public Information Officer for the Trummel Volunteer Fire Company. And there are three things that I'm going to cover with you very quickly in this next three minute video that we're putting together. We're going to talk a little bit about fire science. We're going to talk about common causes of kitchen fires. And finally, what to do in the event that you have a pan on the stove that's on fire. So let's quickly talk about fire science. There's three components that are necessary for fire to take place. One is oxygen, and that's everywhere. We're breathing it right now. You need oxygen, we need a heat source, and we need fuel. Now the interesting thing about fire is if you take one of those away, the fire goes out. And that will be critical as we move through the next two sections that we're going to talk about. So the second thing I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you are common causes. Many times on the stove, similar in this saute pan that we have here, folks are cooking with oils, greases, butters, um, Crisco, lard, etc. And what happens when you add heat to that? It splatters all over the kitchen, right? Very common. A little bit of that gets on the stove and instantaneously you have a pan that's on fire. So that's a very common cause. We talked a little bit about the fire science. We talked about the oils that often splatter and cause fire. Now let's talk about what to do if a fire should take place. So it's actually very simple. If you can safely do this, there are two things you should do. Take a lid and simply cover the pan. And again, turn the heat off because in that case, we're removing the heat, which is part of our fire science. And we also put a lid on the fire. The fire will burn momentarily under this lid, but very quickly dissipate the oxygen underneath the lid and the fire will go out. The other thing we want to do is immediately get everybody out of the house and call 911. Just because you had a small fire on the stove does not mean it didn't extend up into the cabinets and into the walls. And very often you think the fire's out and several hours later you smell smoke burning. Then you call the fire department and it's too late. So we want to get everybody out of the house. So the three things that we talked about was the fire science behind how fire starts. We talked a little bit about common causes and the most common cause of course is cooking with oil on the stove. And the third and final thing that we talked about is what to do. Remove the heat, cover the pan, get out and call 911. So I hope you found this video helpful and my call to action to all of you is please visit your local home improvement center. Be sure to pick up a fire extinguisher similar to this one which could also be used to put this fire out which we will cover at a later time in another video series on the safe use for fire extinguishers. And most importantly is make sure you've got smoke detectors with working batteries, carbon monoxide detectors with working batteries in the house at all times. For more information, feel free to email us at pio at trumbullvfc.com. That's public information officer, pio at Trumbull Volunteer Fire Company, trumbullvfc.com. You can also like us on Facebook at Trumbull VFC. And stay tuned for more informational videos in this series. Thanks and have a safe day.